We have a caller. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hey, my name is Chris calling from Clearwater. How are you doing? Hey, good. How are you? What's your question, Chris? Uh, it's for Xander. I was just wondering, how did you prepare for the role knowing, how, knowing Gregory exists in the comics? No. How did you prepare for the role knowing that Gregory exists in the comics? Um, well, you know, I've done a lot of uh, animation over the years, and uh, I, I love, because I, I'm an, um, a visual artist as well, I love sort of channeling a drawing yeah. and finding the voice for it, for cartoons and stuff. And, um, and this was the added bonus of getting to develop a whole character and bring live action to life from a drawing. Yeah, and I, I kept hearing the guy's voice, and I worked a lot with Scott Gimple, the showrunner, uh, at finding the right voice because he looked just from the picture like he had a grizzly, like he'd have a rough vo vocal quality. As somebody who had a lot of, of uh, loud conversations in a lot of bars, he had to talk over everybody, <laughs> no. and then he'd blown out his vocal cords. That was the first impression I had just looking at that face from the comic book. And the way in which he, he held himself a lot of times, hands on the hips, and sort of finding a way to incorporate this sort of vernacular of gestures yeah. that you see into the character uh, and make it feel natural And when he would strike a particular pose that you'd seen. The only one that I did very specific was uh, when I got stabbed, I, I, I wanted to fulfill the comic book fans' with recreating that still almost for a moment actively. Giving them a splash page, yeah. giving them that panel. Boom. Nice. Yeah. Well, and 